Today on Cougar View, a special feature on the Caribou Cougar alumni playing on the current Prince George Cougar Club. Plus, we'll talk to more Cougar parents as they were here at CN Center recently watching their sons play. Welcome to Cougar View. Hi, I'm Alan Bristol. The Cougar has just returned from an Alberta road trip. We'll have details on that coming up later in the show, but first, a special feature. Anyone who watches the Western Hockey League knows about the importance of major midget programs. Here in Prince George, one of the premier clubs of the BC Major Midget League is just next door in the Caribou Cougars. Now, the Caribou Cats are known for developing players from not only the big Cougars, but also the rest of the Western Hockey League. Now, the Caribou Cougars build themselves as BC's northern team, grabbing players from 100 Mile House all the way to the Yukon. This season, five former Caribou Cougars have suited up for the Prince George Cougars. I had a chance to speak to them about the importance of the Caribou Cougar program. Well, I was with Sprague a year before that, playing for the Midget AAA team, so I kind of had that history with them. And uh, we didn't have all this in the room when I played. We had to pack up our own bags and bring it home every night, so that's a little different. But uh, same heritage and tradition was there. Like, you know, we were a northern team. We were bigger. We played a physical game. That's kind of how we won games. So but, uh, it was just a great experience. You know, when we were a northern team, we had a lot to prove against the lower mainland teams. And, uh, you know, hated playing the Northwest Giants, and uh, clearly that hasn't changed. How much did it help you get to where you are today? Oh, it was a big stepping stone in my career, essentially. You know, I took a, a role where I had to be an older guy on the team where we were a little bit younger, so I kind of learned from that, and uh, Sprague expected a lot from me. I, I was injured for half that year, so I kind of had to come over some adversity that way, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it helped me a lot and become the person I am today. Kind of sounds very familiar, doesn't it, right now? Yeah, and definitely. I uh, had to come off uh, going out, especially some younger guys here that... Uh, Got to show them the way and uh, kind of do whatever I can, whether it be in the room or just playing by example. So uh, whatever I can do to help these guys get the next level, I'll sure, I'll sure do it. Now, Yari, you played just the one season here in Prince George. Now, tell us what that was like with the Caribou Cougars. Um, you know, it was a great year. It was a big stepping stone for me that year. Uh, it was the first year that we had the room here, so it was kind of exciting to first time I've ever been in a room like this, and it was really something to, I don't know, take. And uh, Sprague really taught us how to play. and. Uh, learned a lot from them as a coach. How professional does the organization seem to you guys? Uh, it's very professionally run. Uh, the coaching staff and the trainers and stuff, uh, the practices are well run and stuff, so it's really good here. And moving along to, to Brett Rolston here too, now a two-year guy with the Caribou Cougars, right? First year you didn't play. So what was that like in coming into this, to this type of organization? Uh, it was frustrating to start with because uh, I didn't play. I had to watch every game and helping out with the boys but it was a great atmosphere great to be around the organization they helped me out with a lot of things so I'm very grateful for that but uh, uh, the second year when I did get in I guess I gave it my all and I made the best of it and I guess that's what got me here. Now Chase you kind of came in finally at the point where uh, this was kind of the place to be. Yeah for sure um, this summer I'm um, coming up to my first training camp in Caribou Cougars uh, I was a little nervous I didn't know um, what to expect and then um, I was lucky enough to uh, make the team we have to start, and then um, just from there, um, great things happen. And, and what does it mean? Is it now kind of you, you, you see some younger guys coming up? Is this the place to be? Yeah, for sure. Um, there's a lot of great younger guys coming up, like our prospect Brad Morrison coming from Kelowna. It's a great place to play. Um, helps you um, just get better for the next step. And what did Trevor mean to you? Trevor's a great guy. Me and him I'm still keep in touch quite a bit. He helped me. Um, Definitely um, quite a bit to get me to the next level. And hometown boy drafted by the Cougars, and now to be among five guys that are playing. I had the privilege of playing with Raymond and Brett, and then I've known Dan and Yari for quite a bit too, so it's definitely easier, you know, getting to um, play with those guys. And Raymond, another hometown boy, I mean, four of the five that are here, when you finally made the Caribou Cougars, you, your kind of first thought that, wow, I'm going to play for somebody that, that is very professional? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's a premier organization in the league, and uh, it's definitely a big step from Bantam to Midget, and it uh, it helped me get better. And I played here for two years, and eventually made the step to junior. So yeah, definitely was a big stepping stone in my career. What were some of the things that you learned here that that helped you make the big Cougars? Ah, uh, I think it was just like accountability and things like that. You know, in Bantam, uh, kind of we had a 5D system, and I could I had a lot of freedom. But here, you know, I was held accountable and. Got to play in different situations, and you know the league was a lot harder. There's a lot more competition, so yeah, it was definitely you know come out every day and play hard. And it was a lot different than Bantam. Back to you, Dan. I mean, how much do you guys talk about, or do you talk about the fact that you guys 
where you've come from to get where you are today. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool for anyone to come in here, right? You have a dress room and it just kind of, it's easy for everybody because they got somewhere they can call home and somewhere everyone guys can relate to. If they want to just hang out, we can come here. So I think that was kind of the biggest thing why this Miss Midget team, especially in the conference that they're in, that they've kind of taken that step amongst all the other teams. So uh, yeah, like any time we can reminisce with these guys in their uh, midget career. Unfortunately, I didn't play with any of these guys, but a little bit older than these guys. But uh, any time we get the chance to talk about that, it's pretty funny. And I got to coach uh, these guys for their tryouts, actually. So. He wouldn't fight when I told him to, but uh, it turned out okay. Talk about born, being born and raised where you are and then having a northern team. I mean, that it's not just a Prince George team anymore. I mean, the fact that, I mean, it goes all the way up to Whitehorse. So this is truly, truly a far-reaching area. You know, it's nice getting to meet guys from around different places and stuff. I remember playing with David Stevens, who's from Whitehorse there, and Brad Gustafson, and uh, a bunch of other guys like Rolly. He obviously I didn't play with him, but he's from there too. So, you know, it's... Kind of nice getting to know guys from different regions and stuff, and really helps out with uh, making this team the competitive team that we are. Back to you, Brett. Tell us, is there kind of, you know, if you're a kid in Whitehorse, is this the place to kind of want to come down and play? Is, is there a reputation up there with the Caribou Cougars? Yeah, you could say that, I guess, uh, after, over the years, like, a few guys come down here, I guess, like, more more of the elite hockey players, David Season, Brad Gustin, and uh, this place I wanted to be. So uh, it was a lot of fun, and a lot of guys strive to be here, I guess. Do you get the feeling of, of being kind of a northern team, even though you're not even technically northern BC? Uh, did, do you kind of get that that sense of, you know, we're against kind of the rest of BC? Yeah, when I was brought in here, you kind of get that sense. You kind of buy into the system and everything, and uh, just play as hard as you can, and you get the sense that uh, it's you against the lower mainland, basically. So. And Chase, speaking of that, it, it, it's been a couple tough years when it comes to the Caribou Cougars, and and playing again that one nemesis of the Northwest Giants so you know do you look at it and, and now even as Cougars do you guys still cheer for the Caribou Cougars to to beat everybody else including those Giants? Yeah for sure um, I've been able to go watch a few of their games this year um, so far this year and um, it's been nice to see what they're doing and it's good to see that they're doing good and hopefully they can finally beat those guys this year. And Raymond unfortunately you've lost to them twice back-to-back -back, uh, league finals but it's been three years in a row that those guys have beat you and unfortunately you've got one of their teammates playing with the big Cougars and Joseph Carvello. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a little different. We kind of talk about that, uh, the two finals that we played against each other. You know, it's definitely tough losing to those guys. Um, basically, we've been losing to them ever since we were younger. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was a learning experience, that's for sure. you got to learn to lose before you win. So. We'll continue our chat with the Caribou Cougar alumni after the break.